think Pioneers are the exact team that they probably wanted to see. I think they have a lot of confidence going up against this Pioneers roster, having played them so often in the past. Uh, I, I really do think Cloud9 is going to be like a league above this Pioneers team. It, it'll be up for the gameplay to show. And I know that Pioneers coming in as the underdog with nothing to lose, they can play a little bit loose. They can play free. But I'm not sure they're going to be able to play well against such a strong roster. It's certainly going to be an interesting series to stay at least. And it, as I say, this could be a marker series for Pioneers where, you know, heading towards Rally, heading towards the kickoff, which is just in a couple of days. You know, we don't stop here on the, uh, we'll call this a tour as well, the, uh, the ATS Rally Tour as we head towards Rally. There's another stop just a few days away. And I tell you what, Pioneers looking at the bracket, look at the teams they've gone through as well. And the team that they've taken down that have beaten some of the other teams in the bracket. I mean, this is the real deal. Whereas this isn't just a team who's like just turning up and had a hell of a run this is the real deal as i say week one they performed week two they performed as well and you look at the scrims through the week they're playing some of the best teams in the world and i gotta say they're learning very very quickly this team they are dangerous it's pretty surprising too because i've been watching a lot of their scrims and i feel like they come out as the loser in a majority of those scrims so to see them this far in our bracket must mean that they're playing very well here today we haven't been able to see them on the broadcast as of yet but they're here for a reason, right? They beat Sentinels. They they beat E United somehow, some way. They are beating teams that we all would have thought probably would have knocked them at least at the elimination side or out of the tournament in that elimination bracket. But they've already defied some odds so far today. I'm not going to tell them that it's impossible to beat Cloud9, but they do once again have their hands full against what we know is a very hungry team looking for revenge. Well, here we go then. The wait is over. Gameplay back on your screens at home. Halo Infinite keeps on rolling as we head towards our elimination of finals. Now, Cloud9 coming off the back of a disappointing 2-0 loss to Optic Gaming. Take on Pioneers. Oh, look at a Pioneer their way forward in Halo Infinite and become a household name. Wes, there's nothing to lose here for Pioneers. For Cloud9, they have, they have to assert some dominance here. We're gonna see very quickly, can Cloud9 just overwhelm this Pioneers team off the break? We're gonna be hopping on board with Stellar. He gets a, he does a good job of anchoring this tower position for his team, backs down Talik, gets some good information, but what is Stellar gonna do to step up? Because he was very quiet in that winner's finals. Well, it's gonna be a very good start here to Pioneers. They've already got that oddball back to Tram, and this is a setup now for them to play with. Everyone in a good spot, and an even better spot here for the this. man on your screen, Drock. He's got rockets, he's playing the front of tower, he's picked up one, doesn't connect with the second, but first kill in any team fight in oddball, Wes. So, so vital to just milking that time on the ball. He's just fine with staying in this position. That actually spots a player trying to push through. But good damage nonetheless. Druck doing everything he can. Gets rid of the rockets as well. Pioneers jump out to a very early lead and a healthy one at that. Two down as well. Unfortunately, the oddball player is left on his own for a few seconds as Mr. Soul Snipe is removed. And now it's going to be a lovely little bit of baiting here, but the thrust is going to keep Tarlac alive for a few seconds. And not just that, the team fire. Manny coming in and saying, I've got your back, brother. Picks up the oddball, picks up the bulldog. And what a start this has been for Pioneers, Wes. They are racking up some early ball time. Yeah, I love the fact that Pioneers picked up this player in Manny. When this guy gets hot, he was one of the up-and-comers at the end of Halo 5 that really impressed me. It's great to see him get a chance on this roster and have early success. A killing spree comes through there for the Pioneers. And on that note, we're seeing them approach over halfway to winning round one already. I mean, this is the start you dream of if you're Pioneers. And I know they've got a lot of fans at home as well who want to see these four gentlemen do some big work and take some big names in the Halo Championship Series. And that's what they're starting to do here. However, as we know, Cloud9, it's one push for them. They get control of the Oddball now. The question for Pioneers is, can you take back control, Wes? Because as we always say, holding control is easier a lot of the time than taking it back from a team. Yeah, but typically we see Cloud9 being so aggressive, so on top of enemy team spawns, not letting them get all four alive. Great shots by Stellar there to get that kill, but we're seeing a little bit more passive of Cloud9. I want to see them find that that groove. Fortunately for them, they do kill three in the last player alive here. Talik on screen is going to spot the ball carrier, but I'm not sure he's going to be able to do too much. Who gets thrown out. Renegade going to be playing his life right now. Druck is flying across, though, and Druck's going to get that kill. And look at the aggression coming in here from Pioneers. The beatdown onto Penguin. The cleanup as well. It's a 2v2 across the map momentarily as the respawner comes in now for Pioneers. And the ball has been turned back over. Pioneers, that looked too easy, to be honest with you, Wes. To just push through like that and eliminate the Cloud9 players and take back control, a worry here for Cloud9. 
Yeah, I mean, I said Tolik was the last guy alive. I didn't think he was going to do anything. What does he do? He breaks the setup with the help of one of his teammates that spawned up in time. Because of it, Cloud9 still struggling to get their feet on the map here in round one. Another killing spree on screen there. But we need to see someone step up. And who better to switch it to when I say that than Eco, One of the players that we know wants to find a groove in this elimination finals and get his team back with a chance to revenge themselves against optic gaming it's not just getting his team back here it's getting the oddball back to his team as you can see he's going to be working with renegade here just predicting someone's going to jump up from that l cut and unfortunately he's going to be taken down and at the moment one thing i'm very surprised to say wes is it seems like c9 ain't winning too many of these 1v1s as manny wins another one pioneers are, are winning the straight up gunfights here gunny up here for pioneers yeah, just based off what we're seeing so far, Pioneers are bringing the fights to Cloud9. They are the aggressive players so far in this first round. They are going to have a setup here in Bactrian, but unfortunately, the numbers for Cloud9 might be too much as we see Talik trying to rotate the ball out. Look at this move, though, from Talik. And it's only a few seconds away now. Two players desperately flying forward for Cloud9, and that is a great indication oh. of how desperate they are getting. Manny, last player alive here, might be able to sneak in and get the rocket launcher, or maybe he's going to try and bait this one out. Eco's going to go for the ball instead, and Manny's going to get flanked here by Stella, who will take him down. So Bulldog down, Rocket's down as well. Stella just trying to play his life here, as Eco has the ball in hand here for Cloud9. Pioneers have built themselves such a comfortable lead that they're able to play slowly, get these rockets rockets and potentially put one last push on the board to win this first round of oddball three go down for cloud nine and penguin in such a or eco i'm sorry in such a tough position with the ball here brings it out front stays alive but if pioneers touch this ball one more time this round will be over Players stacked up on B Street here for Cloud9, but look at this, Soul Snipes come in and he's got that ball in his hands. This is going to be the first round going to Pioneers, and my, my, Cloud9. Where are you at? Because Pioneers are here to play. I wondered how Cloud9 was going to be able to rebound in the series if they were going to come out as dominant as we know them to be, but the answer looks like it's going to be no. Pioneers actually using the elimination bracket for momentum to get that ball rolling to heat up and all of a sudden this heat it's, it's turning it into the elimination finals game one they have the lead and are in the driver's seat once again well cloud nine need to wake up they need to wake up right now maybe a couple of big boomsticks is going to do it for stella but no look at that drug slides past oh and he gets the beat down as well little things like that don't happen to cloud nine but they are right now 2v2 on the map unfortunately for soul snipe he will be taken down so three players up at the moment for pioneers one of them coming off the respawn though and penguin trying to work his way inside a tram here but looking at the lead looking at the time even though it's only six seconds once again it's pioneers who have that lead as now they move in and they will get the one for two trade cloud nine coming out on top of that exchange yeah the 2v2 the bait and switch benefits cloud nine but unfortunately soul snipe with some great shots on the eco a little bit of a miss from eco there and those could be crucial shots that he missed fortunately penguin and his teammates have the ball in control they're bringing it back to tram for another opportunity for a setup Penguin has ball in hand. Eco's being a pain over the other side of things. Renegade's going to be pushed immediately. And now if Penguin has to clean up these kills, but no, again, a 1v1 gets won by Pioneers. Oh, it's just been a story of who's been shooting cleaner at the moment. And Pioneers are just not missing, Wes. Great use of the thrust from Druck there. Let's see if he can do it again. Oh, just barely loses the fight. And that is the setup broken for Pioneers. Cloud9 on the back of Stellar's great shots allow them to get an, an early lead here in round two, but he goes down as well. So pure chaos happening in Tram as 1v1s are continuing to be traded. Now, where are those spawns coming in for both teams? The ball is down in Tram, but everyone is spawning out. Cloud9 are going to be spawning over at Arcade. So they will be closest to this ball and they will also know by spawning their Wes where their opposition are too. So Eco's going to have that ball in hand and this is going to look like a very comfortable tram setup now for cloud nine they need to make the most of this yeah these rockets are going to be so important you see how hard stellar wants to try and compete for him unfortunately i'm not sure if any any of his teammates are really in a position to go for him so he's just trying to watch as best he can but he's rocked and no shields and stellar forced to give up the angle 
Good time here, though, from Cloud9. Soul Snipe has got the rockets, though. However, two of his teammates have fallen, but the same can be said for Cloud9. He tries to thread the needle onto Eco. He will do a little bit of damage, but doesn't get that kill, but it's going to allow him to push into the base. Gets the beat down, but doesn't trade in that fight. His teammate will manage to clean that one up. Two down now for Cloud9. Three alive for Pioneers. They do get the break, and also look at this rotation now coming in from Talek. We're on board with Renegade, but he's just watching that time drip away. Yeah, Pioneer's doing such a good job to not only get the Rockets, effectively break the setup and now get one of their own. Looking to get right back into this second round, potentially take game one straight out of Cloud9's hands. Bulldog in hand, Stella oh, had to hit every single bullet and did so. And now he'll move into tram, have to wait for his shields for just a few seconds before he even considers picking up that oddball. But that's the kind of break they needed here. Cloud9, they need to hold on to this. They do have a lead, but the pressure's still coming here from Pioneer's. Yeah, you see the angle from top stairs from Tala. Great shots. Manny finds one as well. And Pioneers using Optic Gaming's formula to break this setup, pushing downhill by that thrust spawn. Cloud9 has not had an answer for that yet. And we, because of it, they continue to lose these setups. Game getting very, very close now as the lead goes to Pioneers. Just a reminder that Pioneers took the first round here on Streets Oddball, so they only need to take one more. And they will be 1-0 to zero up in the series. Penguin going to be challenged here by Soul Snipe. Two players from Cloud9, though, walk up the driveway to make that as difficult as possible. Penguin retreats after that kill with the oddball. Down to the red room, down to the driveway, and now he's going to buy a ticket as he enters the tram station. But the question is now, is the Cloud9 train going to start to roll a little bit here? Or is it going to be derailed once more? Still pressure coming in. Two players have fallen here for Cloud9. A little trade going down in the middle of the map, and Penguin's going to be left on his own once more. Yeah, the battle for rockets once again won by Pioneers, and that's consecutive battle for rockets won by Pioneers. If you want to beat a team like Cloud9, you have to figure out a way to get the power weapons. They're doing such a good job of establishing that as part of their game plan to win this game one. Vitalik has a massive decision to make here. He picks up one kill. This is huge. He tries to go long range with the rocket. Doesn't get the kill onto Penguin, but will stagger the push ever so slightly by doing that damage. Now we're taking back into Tram to see if he can find some more angles. Manny is on a flank here. So Cloud9 have got to be quick about this, Wes. If they don't move forward quickly and they don't get the kills, Manny's going to be there. But there's also a player with a Bulldog who comes to meet them first. I mean, beautiful rotation. Way to come back and try and help the team. You're able Jeez. to cut off so much angles. Give your team support. And Druck with perfect shots gives his team the numbers, the setup, and the time is ticking. Cloud9 start to feel the pressure here in game one. We're about to cross 80 points here. It's only just a few moments left here. And Pioneers will go up one in the series. This is no joke, this team. They are here to play. And for Cloud9, they've got no response at the moment. Druck just holding this corner. Talek has taken down. So Stella's going to be able to sneak behind enemy lines, but they've still got control here. Renegade's trying to stay alive as well. He's going to be chased down by Druck. He will be finished as well, thanks to the assists coming in from a teammate. And now Cloud9 have the ball. However, four alive here for Pioneers. They have the time and the advantage to stagger themselves and make a good push. Eco needs to win this one-on-one, -on -one, but unfortunately, it's not a one-on-one. -on -one. The time gets bought. The team comes through. The kills, they're all in favor of Pioneers. And they're going to take this game one with those kills kills just five more seconds you see him standing still you know pioneers is hype right now they just got the lead on a team like cloud nine in the elimination finals one to zero pioneers wow welcome to halo infinite everyone new game new pros we always say and cloud nine are rocked right now wes they're gonna go back to back now to find themselves even with the opportunity to continue the revenge tour against optic gaming 2-0 as well and i need to say wes it wasn't a scrappy 2-0 it was a dominant 2-0 yeah i think we learned a lot about streets oddball so far about cloud nine they have lost back-to-back -back consecutive games to just optic and pioneers on stream so far so they're happy to get that one out of the way but unfortunately no more mistakes for cloud nine if they want an opportunity to win this second qualifier they have to figure out a way to right the ship and a slayer is going to be the game type they have to do it on that very strong slaying team but a slayer can go either way in halo and i really feel that cloud nine are starting to lose grip on this series well, let's take a look at the highlights from that first map in fact we're going to jump over to the stats because they are very impressive on the side of pioneers talek 24 and 12 take a bow my friend that is a monster stat line what's happened in the past is the past you can change the outcome of this future but you have to do it and you have no room for error
Well, this has been a weekend of upsets here in NA Open number two. And the road to rally continues, but for some of our big names in the Halo scene, it's become a little bit of a rocky one. But for some of the new blood, it's looking like a lot of fun as we jump into game number two here. But a good start here from Cloud9. They shut down the early aggressive push coming in from Pioneers. Yeah, Talik's push is very predictable, and unfortunately, it's going to give Cloud9 the map. Renegade hits the shot onto the first player. Can't kill Druk, though. And right now, what we thought was going to be a Cloud9 strong start, I mean, when you get the snipe and the heat wave in control, you're able to compete for this overshield. You could potentially run away with an early lead if you're Pioneers. And look at them. They're pushing up on it as well. The overshield is still up here, and Sniper, I think, has been turned over. Druk wins oh. yet another 1v1. The man is playing some lights out Halo for Pioneers at the moment. But you could say that about any of the names. Soul Snipe. You could say about Manny. You could say about Talek. These guys are playing some of the best Halo I've seen. Penguin oh. with that perfect, though, might have just put the brakes onto this push coming in from Pioneers. Soul Snipe's going to have Snipe in the tower. He's going to try and deny this overshield, but too good is Penguin about his movement, about his coordination with his team to descope that player, get that overshield, secure it, and now we look for a push. Penguin moving forward, trying to use that OS to the best of his ability. Manny is going to wait a few seconds, and now that has dissipated in front of him. But look at the team fight coming in. Look at the confidence of Penguin and his teammates as well there, Wes. Just standing still, knowing that he's got cover, knowing that that communication is coming in, and all of a sudden, Cloud9 is starting to look a little bit more like Cloud9. Soul Snipe does a good job of throwing the snipe off the map, but with him goes his body, and with it goes the lead. Cloud9 take the lead here early as a great push with that overshield from Penguin. Now you're seeing them set up top tower. Now Cloud9's exactly where they want to be. Eco trying to escape. Penguin doing some good cover fire. Talek's going to be chasing Eco down bottom middle, though. He's one shot and manages to get the finish as well. And now the aggression continues. Couple of shots coming in now with that Mangler. Great finish as well after the grenade. And once again, one thing you've got to give credit for here. Pioneers are giving as good as they got. They will not hold backwards. They will not surrender to the pressure that's trying to be put onto them. Back and forth, these teams go. Eco with the new set of overshield. What kind of pressure can he provide for his team? Spots one player takes him down. Spots another one on elbow, but he's forced to back up. Great job by Pioneers to limit Eco's opportunity there, but... You see Eco in immediately recognizes the situation and wants to relocate. Can he catch players by surprise here? The Cloud9 starting to eke out a little bit of a lead here and it's starting to extend. That's three dead now for Pioneers. And with that, maybe that's the fire that needs to be lit under Cloud9 here. They've been flat in the series so far. As we head past that 20 kill mark, it looks like they're starting to find that fire a little bit more. Here's Manny in front of Stella. He will win the 1v1 though, even though it's a difficult position for Stella to turn that into two. Sniper's about to pop as well. Penguin trying to get into position to just find the spawners though, looking to maybe ask a teammate to pick that up on the way back to him as he's locking down this tower now. Yeah, Penguin doing such a good job to make sure his team stays control of tower. It's the one power position on this map where you're able to look over Sniper, you're able to look over Elbow and Brutes at the same time. Does a great job to help his team secure this snipe, but unfortunately, Stellar a little bit too aggressive with the snipe. Only hits the body, and because of it, Soul Snipe gets away with it. Cloud9 just gave away snipe. Pioneers now can sit back, and maybe Soul Snipe can get a few pits. Needs to pick up some big kills, though, and then needs to start to... Oh, my... Oh, that's one way to start things off with a sniper rifle. There's a body shot as well. Stellar's going to be creeping around the pillars as well. So, at the moment... The shots are being hit by Soul Snipe. However, his teammates need to be in position to finish off these kills. They lose two, however, and Cloud9, that lead, starting to get a little bit kind of out of hand, to be honest with you. It's looking a little bit scary if you're a Pioneers fan. This is a tough position for Soul Snipe. He hits the melee but can't hit the no scope, and because of it, loses his life. Overshield coming up, and that's a big 1v1 win for Murnegade. Drop going to be in a position to clean that one up. Penguin falls as well. So Sniper goes back into the hands of Pioneers here. Score still heavily in the favor at 34 to 26 of Cloud9. Manny picking up one though. He's going to slowly start to drag that one back. Eco should be taken down, but that is just to get a trade. And that's something that C9 were not doing in that game number one. But the trades are coming in. But as we say, all the positives for Cloud9, maybe Soul Snipe with this OV could be the game changer here for Pioneers. Yeah, something that they were doing in game Ooh, one is controlling no. those power-ups and power weapons. Unfortunately, it gets shredded there. I believe it was Stellar, but Renegade looking to be aggressive off that kill. The overshield, it does not matter. It does not impact the game. And Renegade with the AR going to be in the faces of Pioneers right now.
Yeah, this looks like that game number one just really pissed Cloud9 off, to be honest with you. They are hunting in packs right now. They want to make a real statement in this game number two, send it to game three and say, hey, we've let you had your fun here, Pioneers, but just remember who good, who is the best team, one of the best teams, I should say, in North America right now. That's going to be Cloud9 and at the moment. The score is reflecting that. Yeah, Cloud9 looking to take this game two here. They're going to be trapped in-house. You see, Pioneers look for their first chance to really slow this game down, maybe understand how much control they really have right now but what are they going to be able to do with it because if cloud nine doesn't overextend they have no reason to leave this house with no power weapons or power ups coming up right now i'd be very interested to see how they get out of this situation here drug picks up one renegade was the player who was taken down stellar and penguin both fall so a little bit of a slower game now from pioneers yes they were trying to match the intensity and the pace of cloud nine early on here but they've recognized the match situation here and with that heat wave bottom middle you can see drug does not want any kind of piece of that soul snipe gets taken down as well and at this point if you're cloud nine all you need to do is trade here wes yeah cloud nine you got overshield coming up i believe they're gonna have control of the outside of the map right now so look for pioneers to have one last ditch effort to try and make this game close they spot stellar they actually take him down before he's able to activate the overshield but unfortunately the overextension from all of pioneers gets punished cloud nine get four dead they should have an overshield somewhere and with that they should take this game with one last kill yeah i feel sorry for who's ever on pioneers right now because they're about to get absolutely slaughtered as the final kill does come in cloud nine answer back and it's 50 to 37 our final score and we head towards our game three everybody pulling their weight on cloud nine and that slayer 12 kills for two of them 13 for the other two and that's 50. that's all you need to happen a well-balanced meal for that win to take this series the distance and now we're looking at a game three strongholds recharge this is going to be very interesting the way that uh, pioneers played that objective in our game at number one you have to feel like they fancy their chances in this game three we'll take a look at the stats though stellar equal across the board as far as kd is concerned kills and deaths renegade eco and penguin though all starting to step up and remind us who's boss if it's all game number three which we're heading into live now if it doesn't go your way all that creeps into your head you can't stop it is oh, we're not going to throw this away are we we're not going to lose this series on the other side of that you get out to a hot start the belief starts to rise up inside you and you think we've got this boys we're going to the finals yeah pioneers need to collect themselves right now this is a very big game for them as they try to take down the juggernaut that is cloud nine in the halo scene they've done it before in previous halos but this is a new beast and already kills being traded and pioneers go four, four dead. dead at the start cloud nine look to get that early advantage brilliant start here from cloud nine as i say they started to find that momentum riding off the back of that big performance in slayer oh. and now we're gonna see stella only finding heads it doesn't need the bodies he can just be a floating head and he'll find you now he's gonna be moving to up to top eight there too i mean he stays alive there mark that's such a big like he just made himself a little bit more difficult of a kill and because of it he's able to stay alive get a control and now his team getting killed slaying out and pioneers is on the ropes trapped inside of pipes as well and if you're trapped in pipes you're nowhere near a long, uh, stronghold excuse me a stellar at the moment is just trying to find anybody with his shock rifle on the way he's been shooting recently you wouldn't be surprised to see him hit another headshot this time it's just a body and this time it's just a little tickle of the uh, geometry surrounding but he didn't need to fire a bullet and already three players were down from pioneers c9 just swarming We'll see if Stellar opts to push into this elevator. He's going to meet three players. Does get some damage onto one. Soul Snipe going to have to figure out a way to stay alive here. But Stellar just applying so much pressure off the spawns. Does go down. And that could be the overextension Pioneers need to get back some control and start scoring points of their own. That was three dead momentarily for Cloud9. They do get control of A and C. And you can see the Soul Snipe is already inside of B at the moment, but that should be a reset. But no, look at this. It's actually going to be snuck into here by Manny and a trip cap in effect now for Pioneers. They've lost two players along the way, but the fact that C is being taken, they know where their respawns are coming in. So this is an opportunity here, Wes, for Pioneers to get control. Renegade somehow stays alive in B and because of it, he flips control back in Cloud9's favor. I believe they were able to finally get rid of him, but that stronghold being transferred is just unanswered points that you want to see Pioneers take advantage of. But they're pushing the trip gap again. Slays have gone in their favor since. Beatdown comes in. Trey comes in as well. No reset on C. 
As we'll see Penguin in a 1v1 to see if he can take Manny out of the stronghold. Manny says no. And a triple cap back in effect now for Pioneers. And the score, even though it is heavily in Cloud9's favor at the moment, is going to be chipped away at extremely quickly here by Pioneers. Yeah, Cloud9 needs to act fast. Renegade tries to get Woo. the B, but it's denied immediately. Manny starting to feel himself, starting to heat up and make a statement for his team. Repulsor back up. Stella shuts him down. Inside a turbine now, Stella. He'll find himself on the receiving end of a grenade. His teammate respawns around the turbine area here and we will be able to get some decent shots onto Tarlac as well as he jumps up and Eco should be able to finish that one. The reset might come in, trying to milk his life here and trying to get that conversion, but no, four dead once again. Cloud9 on top here and they cross the 100 point mark. What a play by Renegade to get into that stronghold, make sure he denies the transfer. And not only that, but gets the reset and the kill to match. Now he's able, able to apply so much pressure with this grapple and buy time for his team to make it over here. Can they get the slays to continue this trip cap? Looks like C will be turned over. Big kill by Druck. That is absolutely massive. There's a battle going on around B at the moment. But while that is going down, Druck has the opportunity here to just be a little bit sneaky, to play his life and capture A and force the C9 players to funnel in towards him. A little bit of a battle going down and C and a little bit of a battle going down at B at the moment. So it looks like split resources here on the map for C9. You can tell Penguin just putting his head right below that ledge stays alive and drug a little frustrated has to back down here But his team in such a good position to gain the lead that they're able to continue to hold this But unfortunately they lose Talik and with it numbers in Cloud9's advantage usually mean they're about to take over Drug trying to just do what he can to survey the area here Around bottom control, he's going to use that grapple to get into C as well as he realizes that they need to be scoring points here. They cannot let this kind of lead get out of hand because before you know it, that will be the end of the game and Cloud9 will be marching on for a rematch with Optic Gaming. Tullock picks up one though. He's going to have a 1v1 with Penguin. Penguin will have to hit the shots and he does so. Soul Snipe will trade that one out and it's just a little bit of a fiesta here inside of Turbine. And to be honest with you, that's fine for Cloud9 because that means they're not going to be contesting those strongholds. Yeah, but the elevator spawns for Pioneers is huge. They're able to immediately transfer A. Unfortunately, Eco in the middle of the map transfers B. Understands the situation perfectly. Not only that, but hits perfect shots. Make it a double for Eco Smith. And that could be where the game was decided. A4D for Pioneers, all four dead, and Stella moves in on A to get the conversion and put that strangling feel back onto Pioneers. The triple cap in effect. Manny, though, with a big win up on the pipes. Yeah, they get one, and that's going to be the B stronghold in their favor. Unfortunately, they tried to go to C, and you see it got shut down. Actually, Eco gets into B. You see it on Penguin screen. He gets the reset. The kill comes through, and Cloud9's control. It's total control for them. They start to pull away. This is getting ridiculous. C9 are triple capping, and it's down to Pioneers to try and break their way out of these shackles. They've managed to get A for now, but the score is starting to look very, very daunting for Pioneers fans 195 points on the board for c9 they only need 250 to find themselves moving through and taking the series we saw renegade we flipped through his screen he just won a 1v1 in control what else can he do a huge kill from talik able to do this quick jump they have two strongholds that they're gonna look to push a third the elevator spawn for cloud nine come through and that means talik's q is up he's got to jump in c Druck is there to help him though Eco's trying to do what he can. Renegade, though, picks up the kill on A. And Druck at the moment, you can see he's not quite sure where he needs to transfer his, his attention to. And he gets stuck between making two decisions. He gets taken down and punished for it. But B and C in control of Pioneers here, whereas they are not going down without a fight against C9. I want to talk to him, try and make a play for this game. But he knows Cloud9 oh. ma members are watching it. The Sword One just comes through. He's able to trade it out. But Camo's still on the map. Manny tries to pick it up. It gets denied from Renegade. He ch he over challenges Soul Snipe when beautiful shots from Soul Snipe keeps that camo in a neutral position and controls still in the favor of Pioneers. Oh, that's a big win though for Stella. While all this is going down and the battle for camo commences and will be won by Penguin and C9. The most important thing when we talk about control and strongholds is the strongholds themselves. And momentarily, it's going to be Pioneers who are scoring. But C9 will transfer over B. As I say, that C now goes down to Pioneers until Penguin arrives on the scene with a teammate and says C will be C9s once more. 
the camo gets activated by penguin and since that they haven't looked back they've got a few kills they were able to get control back in their favor and now just under 50 points needed for cloud nine to find themselves back in the finals manny Meet the Mangler, gets beaten down, but he does get the conversion. So they are still in this for now, but A, just as they force so many resources towards B to get that conversion, C9 out rotate them. They get control once more, and they have AC at the moment. It's a little bit of a janky setup here, Wes, but it's working for them. Yeah, you're seeing Pioneers start to overextend towards C right now. What is Cloud9 going to be able to do? They have Manny in there, but you see multiple members of Cloud9. They understand the situation. They're swarming to grapple. It's going to allow him to get there so fast. And because of it, Druck, he's forced to back up. Soul Slipe in a one-on-one -on -one with Renegade. The trade comes through, and that benefits Cloud9 as they start to take B control as well. That's a triple cap for C9 with only a few moments left. Maybe the Revenge Tour is going to keep on going. They've refueled themselves here, Cloud9. And even though it was a scary, scary series for them, it's looking like it's going to finally come to an end for now. But as I say that, we learn from last week. Pioneers managed to scrap, managed to fight, and managed to keep control of ANC as well. This game is not over, but unfortunately for Pioneers fans, they need to play perfect. And Renegade picking up that camo is going to make playing perfect so difficult. He stays alive after the assist. Two kills come through, and that's the opening that they needed to take C. And now the game. Talek, though, he's inside of B. And he oh somehow God. managed to stay alive and get the conversion. Renegade they trying to do what he can to find any kind of target to locate his BR reticle onto. Takes down Manny. But the control all around B, a massive fight going down right now. And it's Renegade who comes in with a back smack to get the reset and now grapples immediately back to A. Yeah, he sees Pioneers taking C, so he immediately takes the grapple, gets it, get his, gets his butt into A. And because of it, they're going to transfer both these over. And that is going to be the game if they're able to hold these two. They keep them out of B for just a second. And I believe, yes, Cloud9 take Ooh. our series and punch their ticket to the finals. Two to one over Pioneers. A ridiculous series once again. Eco Penguin, Renegade, and Stella will be the victors, but they do not come out of that series, Wes, without some serious battle wounds. A shout out to everybody on Pioneers. That was a hell of a show from you, and I'm looking forward to seeing what you can do when we head towards our kickoff next week. An amazing, amazing performance from them. But the story at the end of the day, Wes, is that C9 will stay alive, and they have that chance for revenge. It wasn't the prettiest series, but they got the job done. Cloud9's not going to be happy with how that series went, but they're going to be satisfied Jeez. knowing that they get another opportunity against Optic Gaming. Taking a look here at the stats, it's 20 and 9 from Eco. You wondered who was going to step up on this team and help Renegade play as well as they've been playing. It's Eco Smith. It's no surprise there. 12.7 KDA. And on the other side, it's just not enough gunfight power for Pioneers to stay in that one.